Okay, it's uh, a little after six on Sunday morning, and uh, I'm going to give a uh, breakdown of the expenses for this week. And this was a big week. Um, we'll start with start with the materials first. At uh, it was 88,260 pesos for materials for this week. Um, spent a lot on the formwork, the, uh, the the cocoa lumber and the plywood. Plywood is pretty expensive, um, and uh, I want to say it was like 15 bucks a sheet, something like that. And then the rebar, rebar is very expensive. And so, like I said, it was 88,260 just for materials. Now. That gave us a total of 102,260 pesos for the week. And uh, as far as uh, uh, workers go, it was a total of 12,200. Um, one of our workers, one of the Masons, only had four days. Um, and then the rest, everybody else had six days. And so the Masons... And the foreman, Gilbert, the foreman, um, and then the mason, the experienced guys, are 500 a day, 500 pesos a day. And then the laborers are at 400 a day. So, and then also we pay for food for them. A snack is what the boss calls it, but uh, it basically is a small meal um, at each break time, um, about... 10 o'clock and about uh, 2.30, 3 o'clock, roughly. And that expense is uh, approximately 300 pesos a day, which works out to 1,800 pesos a week. And so I won't be working today, but we will be back after it again tomorrow. Gilbert tells me that uh, they will be pouring concrete um, tomorrow, but they have not had sand or gravel delivered, so I'm not so sure that they will actually be pouring, because I'm pretty sure they haven't ordered it yet, and sometimes those deliveries get delayed, and you don't get it till the afternoon, or even possibly the next day, so I gotta remind them to make sure and get that ordered. Talk to you later.